In this video, you will learn exponents in algebra. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. We know how exponents and roots are written in arithmetic. Now let's see how they are written in terms of algebra. And we know the main difference in algebra is that it involves unknown values and variables. So let's start with the comparison between these two. And let's start with arithmetic first. So in arithmetic and in exponents, you normally would see something such as 6 cubed. But however, in algebra, you would see something such as x cubed. For roots in arithmetic, you will see something like square root of 25. In algebra, you will see something like square root of x. And as you guys could see, the main difference here is that in arithmetic, we're using numbers. And in algebra, we're using unknown values. And as we all know, our job will be to find what these unknown values mean. So now, before we have a look at the questions, we need to have a look at something that's called x to the power of n. And in x to the power of n, the x stands for any number. x could be any number but the n can only be an integer. So now, let's start off by substituting values for this n. And we can substitute values such as 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0. So let's start with 5 first. What if n is 5? If n is 5, then it would be x to the power of 5. What about if n is 4? If n is 4, then it would be x to the power of 4. If n is 3, then this would be x to the power of 3, or x cubed. If n is 2, then this would be x to the power of 2, or x squared. What if, if n was 1? If n was 1, then this would be x to the power of 1. What about 0? If n is 0, and as you guys would see, it would be x to the power of 0. So now, since we have substituted these values, we need to have a look at the actual pattern itself. So let's have a look at x to the power of 2. And as we all know, x to the power of 2 is basically x times x. And for x to the power of 3, or x cubed, this is x times x times x. So now, if you guys could see a pattern here, x to the power of 2, or x squared, is raised to a power of 2. And we're multiplying two x's. When x is raised to a power of 3, we're multiplying three x's. So as you guys could see, the number we are raising to is the number we are multiplying the x's. If this is true, then for x to the power of 4, we are multiplying 4 x's. And yes, we do. What about x to the power of 5? Do we multiply 5 x's? And yes, we do. So if this was the case, what about x to the power of 1? Well, and as you guys could see, for this pattern, the number you raise to is the number you multiply the x's by. So that means x to the power of 1 will just be... 1x. And this is where an important rule comes in. So now, and here is our rule. Any number raised to the power of 1 is basically just itself. And this is a really important rule to remember. So now let's have a look at a couple of examples, such as 5 to the power of 1 will just be 5. And then 8.5 to the power of 1 will just be 8.5. So as you guys could see, any number raised to the power of 1 will just be itself. So going back to the pattern we were having a look at. The next thing we have to find is x to the power of 0. So you guys may wonder if x to the power of 0, if x to the power of 1 was just 1x, and x to the power of 2 was multiplying 2x's, then x to the power of 0 would just be multiplying 0x's, so no x's at all. But for x to the power of 0, it's actually just 1. And if you guys are wondering why 1, we know that all numbers have a factor of 1. So this means we can write x to the power of 1 as 1 times x, x to the power of 2 as 1 times x times x, x to the power of 3 as 1 times x times x times x, and the same for x to the power of 4 and x to the power of 5. And if you guys could see, as the number of x's decreases, and there's no x's at all for x to the power of 0, we're left with just 
a1. So that's exactly why x to the power of 0 is a1. And this is where our another rule comes in. And this is another important rule to remember. So any number raised to the power of 0 is basically just going to be 1. So let's have a look at a couple of examples to get a better understanding. So now, here we have 6 to the power of 0, and this obviously equals 1. And then the same goes for 1.7 to the power of 0. This will also be 1. Now to learn more on level plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.